Hey guys, welcome back to your own channel, Jacklit Learn for the Environment. So I am here once again with some more important concepts from the Unit 4 Environmental Geoscience. So this is the 23rd part of the crash course series, and you can check our previous videos from the playlist given in the description below. So without wasting much more time, let's get started. The first question is, which of the following statements is not related to factor of safety? So before knowing the correct answer, you must know what is factor of safety. तो आइए जानते हैं फैक्टर ऑफ सेफ्टी क्या है और किस चीज से रिलेटेड है सो दिस फैक्टर ऑफ सेफ्टी इज रिलेटेड टू लैंड स्लाइड सो वी ऑल नो दैट लैंड स्लाइड इज अ डाउनवर्ड मूवमेंट ऑफ द सॉइल रॉक और वेजिटेशन अंडर द इन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ ग्रेविटी सो हियर दिस फैक्टर ऑफ सेफ्टी इज यूज टू कैलकुलेट द लैंड स्लाइड इन स्टेबिलिटी और स्टेबिलिटी सो हाउ इट इज कैलकुलेटेड द फॉर्मूला इज रेजिस्टिंग फोर्स डिवाइडेड बाय द ड्राइविंग फोर्स सो फैक्टर ऑफ सेफ्टी का फॉर्मूला आपको याद रखना है कि इट इज द रेशियो बिटवीन द रेजिस्टेंस फोर्स डिवाइडेड बाय द ड्राइविंग फोर्स सो लेट्स सी व्हाट इज रेजिस्टिंग फोर्स एंड ड्राइविंग फोर्स सो लेट्स अज्यूम दैट दिस इज द बेड रॉक व्हिच इज द पेरेंट रॉक एंड दिस इज द साइड मटेरियल सो इट कैन बी सॉइल रॉक और वेजिटेशन सो दिस बिकॉज ऑफ दिस रेजिस्टिंग फोर्स सो इस रेजिस्टिंग फोर्स के द्वारा वो रेजिस्ट कर रहा है इस बेड रॉक के ऊपर ऑन दिस स्लोपी ट्रैक बट one more force is also acting that is driving force so which is moving this body from the upper body to the lower part so when this driving force is greater than the resisting force then line slide occur which is the instability that means when the f ratio is less than 1 it is instable that is line slide will occur and if this f ratio is greater than 1 then line slide will not occur that is the stability of that region Let's move to our next question. The next question is which one of the following symbols of Köppen's climate is not correctly matched? So you have to answer that which of them is not correctly matched. And here the correct option will be option number 4. Yes, I know some students will not be knowing what is Köppen's climate. So let's see what is Köppen's climate. and what are these symbols so copen has given some of the letter code to the different climatic zones and different climatic types so you should read one by one which are important for example here af letter code is given to the tropical humid climate that is tropical wet one and am is given to the tropical monsoon similarly aw is given to the tropical wet and dry climate but here in this question it was asked that cs is equal to tropical wet which is wrong so it will be mediterranean climate so let's go back to our question so here in option number 4 it was marked that cs is equal to tropical wet which is wrong because cs is denoted by the mediterranean climate so these are some of the important codes and the types of climate you should remember all of this at least you should remember the letter code for these things and which will be very important in the examination let's move to our next question the next question is which one of the following is not a metamorphic rock and in the options this is slate chalk gneiss and schist and here the correct option which is not a metamorphic rock is option number b chalk yes Chalk is a sedimentary kind of rock, a form of limestone composed of the mineral calcite. So the calcite is an ion of salt which is the most stable polymorph of calcium carbonate that is CaCO3. But rest every options are the example of metamorphic rock. Moving on to the next question. The next question is the ring of fire lies in which ocean? So here most of you will be knowing that it lies in the Pacific Ocean but you should know whether it lies in North or South Ocean so I've given you an hint So here the correct option will be option number C Yes the ring of fire which is also known as rim of fire or circum pacific belt is situated in the North Pacific Ocean so it is the ring of fire because it constitute several volcanoes 
which are also the major reason for the earthquakes moving on to the next question the next question is the term dripstone is associated with which of the following options and here the correct option will be option number d yes the term dripstone is associated with the underground water as you can see in this picture the dripstone is formed as the underground water drips from the ceiling of a cave so it is mostly located inside the cave where the underground water drips and leaves behind deposits of calcite so we have learned in our previous questions that calcite is an iron salt which is of calcium carbonate so the next question is which of the following reasons causes flood so this is a very simple question and some of the students will directly go and hit this b option that is prolonged high intensity rainfall it is one of the reason but option a also is one of the reason for flood how because if deforestation happens in some place then the trees which are responsible for holding the soil as well as the ground water are not present as a result the flood happens in the region when there is a rainfall next thing is when a river is present and the is blocked with the debris then it also leads to flood because when the river is flooded with the rainwater it is not finding the proper channel because of the blockage of debris so as a result the flood is happening in that place so these three reasons are the reason for flood so the correct option will be option number d all of these so that's all in this part of the video so aaj ke liye bas itna hi stay tuned for further updates and don't forget to like share and subscribe the channel for further notifications